China has protested over the US unreasonable decision to slap punitive sanctions on a Chinese military unit for buying Russian fighter jets and surface-to-air missile equipment. China expressed strong indignation towards the unreasonable move by the United States, and has made solemn representation, Foreign Ministry spokesman Geng Shuang said on Friday. The U.S. has seriously violated the basic norms of international relations and disturbed the relationship between China and the U.S. We strongly call on the U.S. to remedy the mistake and cancel the sanctions. Otherwise, the U.S. has to bear the consequences. The protest was in response to Washington's announcement that the Chinese Defense Ministry's Equipment Development Department, ED, violated U.S. sanctions on Russia by buying the jets and missile equipment. Both the ED and its director, Li Shangfu, were named in the sanctions. The U.S. Department of State said the sanctions were invoked under Section 231 of the Countering America's Adversaries through Sanctions Act of 2017 for engaging in significant transactions with persons on the list of specified persons. The transactions involved the purchase of Russian Su-35 combat aircraft and S-400 surface-to-air missile system-related equipment. Under the sanctions, the ED will be denied U.S. foreign export licenses, banned from making foreign exchange transactions within U.S. jurisdictions and prohibited from using the U.S. financial system. Any of the ED's property and interests within U.S. control will be blocked. Similar restrictions apply to Li, who will also not be able to get a U.S. visa. Geng said China would continue defense cooperation and development of strategic ties with Russia. The cooperation between China and Russia is aimed at helping the two nations protect their legitimate interest and maintain regional peace and stability. It does not violate international laws or target at any third party, he said.